In this video, I'm going to go over the review feature of TintWiz. So I'm going to click into reviews here. Now the primary function of the review feature in TintWiz is to automate the review request process for you as a business so that every customer automatically gets a review request and it's as easy as it can be for them to click through and leave a review on whatever sites you'd like. So I want to start off by showing you how to get your account set up and then we can jump into the other features that are built in within the review feature and how you can take advantage of that as well. First thing you're going to want to do is click on settings and then click to send automated review requests to customers. Come down and hit save settings. So next we'll go ahead and click on review sites and this is where you can set up your actual review profiles. So start with Google, hit set up. And for Google, what you can do is actually search for your business. So let's say the business was called Best Window Tinting. And we'll see if that was the business. We can click on it. And that's it. Once you find your business and you hit save, you're good to go. And you can see now Google is active. So when the review request goes out to your customer, one of the options for them will be your Google page. You'll set up Facebook, Yelp by linking them in. So just go to your Facebook page, grab your Facebook URL, put it right there. Same with Yelp, same with Home Advisor, Nextdoor, City Search, Yellow Pages. You don't have to fill them all in. Just fill in and link the profiles that you want to direct your customers to. And if you don't have any of these, or if your customer doesn't have an account with any of these, they can actually leave a review directly to you through TintWiz as well. So once you've added your review profiles and you've selected to send automated review requests to customers, you really are good to go from moving forward. TintWiz will automatically send a review request via SMS, which is a text message, as well as email, as well as a follow-up email. So you can go ahead and edit these if you'd like. However, we do put text in here as the default text that we feel is very effective. So feel free to use it as is or edit it if you have something you'd like in there instead. So another feature you should enable is to show featured reviews on TintWiz proposals. And any reviews that come in, if you select them as featured reviews, they will now show up on your proposals at the bottom. So we're gonna hit save settings. And then you see over here on the right, there's two links. Um, the top one is to a profile page, and this is actually a TintWiz profile page that you get automatically with your company name in the URL and the city. And this profile page also displays all your reviews. It has a quote form and so on. And then you have your review embed code. You can grab this code and you can use it on your website and display any featured reviews on any web page or anywhere that you can embed HTML. We mentioned the profile page. Let's go ahead and click on profile page up here and we're gonna actually set this up. So you can see that URL I was talking about. Below that, you have your business details. So if you wanna show your phone number and address on your profile page, just make sure both of these are clicked. This is an opportunity to add a brief about your business. And then you have a spot to put a link. It could be learn more. It could be anything you want, any text you'd like, and you can link it anywhere you'd like. We suggest learn more on your website. And then you have a get a quote and a lead form. And you'll actually see, once you've set this up, you'll see this lead form appear in the lead capture area. And you can edit it and expand on it if you'd like. So any leads that come in from this profile page will come in from the lead form that's called TintWiz Profile, which again, you'll see populate once you have all this set up. If you'd like to get started by adding reviews right now, you can. So you can actually go to add new up here on the right and you can add in reviews that you've already received from anywhere. So you can, let's say, go to your Yelp page or your Google page or to your Facebook and you can actually add reviews in here. Simply pick the star rating that the customer gave you. you if their intent was already, you can find them in your contacts or enter their name, email and paste the review that they gave you. You can add pictures, whether they're pictures that the customer provided in their review or pictures that you took of the installation. By source, you can select where the customer left the review for you, adjust the date from when the customer gave you the review, 
select published if you want it to be published when you hit save and then featured if you want it to show up on your proposals as well as your website widget if you have it set up the featured reviews are the ones that show up there it also puts those featured reviews at the top of your profile page as well so you can start adding reviews right now yourself and then you can also start requesting reviews from your customers so you can go to send request select them from contacts or just enter their name, email, and phone and hit send requests and actually send the requests manually. Now moving forward, because you set up in your settings to automatically request reviews for all new projects, the customer will get the review request automatically. However, for now, you can start sending review requests manually to previous customers or start adding reviews that you've already received onto your TintWiz profile. And that covers setup. As long as you've enabled to send automated review requests to customers and you've set up your review sites to link to where you, you want your customers to review you, you are all set up from there. If you have any questions or you need help with the review embed code on your website, simply go to support and hit chat now and live chat with us 24-7, 365 days a year. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.